Okay, this is the power upgrade for the Park Zone uh, BF109. And what I have here is a package that I purchased from eBay. This is a Turnigy 3536 1300 kV, which is considerably more powerful than the factory engine. This is a Mystery 40 amp speed control. Now, uh, these were purchased as a package, I think it cost me about $83 or $84 US, came to about $95 bucks Canadian with the shipping. I think it was just a tiny little bit over $100 when it came here. But uh, my issue is Dean's plugs. Uh, Park Zone does not use a Dean's connector. Park Zone uses EC3. Uh, here is the EC3 connector and the two spades that are going to go in there. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a little soldering and demonstrate uh, some soldering techniques before we go ahead uh, in the second part of the video and uh, install the motor into the aircraft. So uh, we got a few tools here, uh, nothing spectacular, just your basic flat bladed screwdriver, uh, number one Phillips. I've got a set of forceps here that I stole from the hospital. Uh, don't do that at home kids. Uh, your sharpie marker, you probably won't even need that. A hobby knife and uh, some side snips here which I'm about to use right now. So we're just going to do away with this Dean's connector. And you guys know when these speed controls come the wires are already way too short they really should put more on this and uh, what I'm going to try and do is save as much of this wire as I possibly can by even uh, so that's history there's the shrink wrap and get the shrink wrap off okay I'm just going to clean that up now some of this wire is still tinned which is really not a bad thing and uh, we're going to take our hobby knife and I'm just going to bear that back maybe about a quarter of an inch Okay, and that's all we need because the heat from the soldering iron is uh, going to help us a little bit here too to uh, peel some of that back. But uh, you can see the depth of this connector is not very deep. As a matter of fact, when we put it on here, you'll see that it just, just comes up to that rubber, uh, the coating on the wire. Now, these connectors are really difficult to work with, but I much prefer them over this. And the reason for that is, is when this connector is finished, this uh, EC3 connector, these metal contacts are down inside of the connector, okay? With a Dean's connector, they're not. This is very easy to short out. And as everybody knows, the uh, LiPo batteries, if you short them out, even for the momentary, the, the smallest of seconds, it's over. The battery is fried. So, no Dean's connectors for me. Everybody else seems to like them, but I got a problem with them. Okay, let's move on here and we'll see if we can get this soldered up. So, I uh, have my forceps here, which are kind of handy, and I use them to uh, hold the uh, I'll hold this connector while I do my soldering. So, I've got my soldering iron here. This is an old one. I actually have a brand new soldering station. I just, uh, I'm too friggin' lazy to get it out. So you take it where it comes from okay we're gonna get a little just a little solder into this connector here and we'll try not to fill it up because uh, the uh, wire is going to take up a little space in there too as well now I've heard people talk about um, being able to go ahead later on and um, uh, use a grinder and stuff on it or a file to uh, file some of the extra solder off the outside edge Okay, we want to heat the material, put the solder onto the wire. There we go. So this one's ready to go on. Now, these can be a bit tricky and it can also get rather hot. So, put some heat right onto the connector first until the solder in the connector begins to liquefy again. It takes a little bit to get it happening. Then stick that right inside there. And that's the end of that one. Hold it until it sets up. There you go. Soldering 101, no big deal. Uh, it takes a little practice. I wouldn't suggest starting out on these connectors. If you're going to learn how to solder on something, try a couple of pieces of wire. Um, you probably have better luck with just a couple of pieces of wire trying to butt solder them together and get used to how your iron heats the materials up and so forth. So uh, again, we're going to go ahead with this one. Put a little heat on it, get some solder down in the hole, 
It doesn't have to be a great deal, but enough to fill it up about halfway. These connectors are a little fussy, and you're always going to get some on the outside. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, these things are hard to work with, as I said before. They're not easy, but uh, anybody with a little experience after soldering a few wires would probably be able to do it no problem at all. Okay, so there's that. Got some tin on it. The hard part, believe it or not, or the hardest part of this whole job is getting these bloody things to go into that little blue pocket. And I'll show you that in a bit. So, here we go with that. That one's in there. Okay, it's and it's pretty hot on the fingers too, guys. Uh, so, uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Try not to burn yourself. I mean, uh, I've managed to burn myself a few times with this, but you can see both those. There's a little bit of solder on the outside edge here. I'll we'll just take a look at that little bit right there. You know, that's going to cause that to to be a little bit of a bear to get inside of here. But the most important part now, I don't know if you can see this, but we'll look real close. On EC3 connector, there's a positive sign, there's a negative sign. Whatever you do, don't get your wires reversed. It doesn't really matter when you're soldering them on. But uh, you got to make sure that they go in the right holes, or the first thing you're going to do when you stick them in there is short out your battery. And that's a major no-no. So here's the negative side. The negative side is the side that does not have the flat on it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the negative side in. Just sort of get it started in there. We take our flat bladed screwdriver, stick it on the edge of that. And you literally got to jam these guys in here until you hear it click. You hear that click? And it's roughly uh, even with the end. Uh, flush with the end, just recessed. Okay, that's how you can tell when you got them in properly. Now this one here, it got a little bit fatter from a little bit extra solder, so let's see what happens with this one. And put some don't be afraid to put a little weight on it. <clears throat> there. That one you didn't exactly hear click. But you can see it's also, we just got to straighten that out now that it's down in there. You can see that it's also flush. And there was our conversion from a Dean's plug to an EC3 on our mystery 40 amp speed control. Okay, so uh, that's the first part of this video. We're going to move on and... Uh, show you how to change the uh, engine out on the aircraft next. Thanks for having a look at that.